Hi there, welcome to Noctis on YouTube. In the world, there have been several cases of submarine sinking. One such submarine was the USS Greyback, which made its way into the list of lost submarines. The USS Greyback, a Tambor-class submarine belonging to the United States Navy, measured 93 meters in length and could reach speeds of 8.75 knots or 16 kilometers per hour underwater and 20.4 knots or 38 kilometers per hour on the surface. The submarine could dive to a depth of 76 meters and was armed with torpedoes, deck guns, and Beaufort guns. During its service, the USS Greyback conducted various patrols during World War II. However, on its 10th patrol, the submarine was sunk by a 250-kilogram aerial bomb dropped by a Nakajima B-5N torpedo bomber of the Imperial Japanese Navy on February 27, 1944 in the East China Sea. According to Japanese reports, the USS Greyback exploded and sank shortly after the attack. The wreckage of the USS Greyback was only discovered in June 2019, 93 kilometers south of Okinawa, Japan. The submarine was found upright on the seabed at a depth of 430 meters. When discovered, it had suffered significant damage near the rear of the conning tower. In addition to the USS Greyback, another sunken submarine was the U-Boat, a type of submarine operated by the German Imperial Navy during World War I and World War II. U-Boat stands for Untersee Boot, meaning undersea boat in German. One of the well-known U-Boats was the SMU-111. The SMU-111 submarine was attacked and bombed twice. The first incident occurred on June 18, 1921, when it was attacked by an aircraft and briefly sank off the coast of Cape Henry, Virginia. After repairs, the submarine sailed again on August 30, 1922. However, one day after resuming operations, the SMU-111 was attacked and sunk by the USS Falcon off the coast of Virginia. The wreckage of the SMU-111 submarine was discovered on September 5, 2022 at a depth of 121 meters, approximately 64 kilometers off the coast of Virginia. Japan also experienced the sinking of one of its submarines. The submarine in question was of the I-400 type operated by the Imperial Japanese Navy during World War II. This submarine was a length of 122 meters and a width of 12 meters was captured by the U.S. States Navy on August 27, 1945 while it was surfacing. After its capture, the submarine was intentionally scuttled by the United States to prevent it from falling into Soviet hands as it was feared it might be misused and prolong the conflict. This action played a role in the early stages of the Cold War. The wreckage of the Japanese I-400 submarine was only found in August 2013 off the coast of Oahu, Hawaii. Furthermore, in an expedition conducted in May 2017, researchers discovered the wreck of a shechuk class submarine SHCH-406 at a depth of 60 meters in the Gulf of Finland. A few years later, another submarine of the same class SHCH-320 was found at a depth of 49 meters, approximately 500 meters from the SHCH-406 wreck. Both were Soviet submarines actively operated during World War II. The SHCH-320 submarine was operated by Captain Ivan Makarovich Vishnevsky, while the SHCH-406 submarine operated under the command of Captain Eugenie Yakovlevich Osipov.
According to experts, the primary reason for the sinking of these two submarines was their attempt to breach the mine barrier Segel or Nashorn, established by Germany during World War II. However, there is another hypothesis regarding the sinking of these two submarines, suggesting they were sunk due to anti-submarine warfare attacks near Goglin Island. When found, the wreck of the SHCH-320 submarine had damage to the front part of the hull near compartments 1 and 2. Even near the wreck, German sea mines and an intact mine were discovered. Meanwhile, the SHCH-406 submarine had damage to the front and right side of the hull. Most of the holes in this submarine had been buried in the seabed and were no longer visible. Most recently, in October 2023, researchers from the Norwegian Marine Research Institute in the Mariano program found the wreck of a British World War II era submarine that had been missing for a long time. The expedition believed that the submarine they found was the HMS Thistle. The HMS Thistle was a submarine belonging to the Royal Navy of the United Kingdom which sank off the coast of Norway in April 1940. The main cause of the submarine's sinking was a collision with a German submarine. This collision resulted in the deaths of all 53 crew members aboard the HMS Thistle. The wreckage of the HMS Thistle submarine was found at a depth of more than 160 meters outside Rogelan, southwest of Norway. However, further research involving the Norwegian and British navies revealed that the submarine could also be the HMX Oxley. This is because historical information suggests that the HMS Oxley is the closest geographically to the location. It is known that the HMS Oxley was accidentally sunk by another British submarine. As a result of this incident, two crew members of the HMS Oxley survived, but 53 other crew members perished. In the end, offshore submarine experts concluded that the wreck was most likely the HMS Thistle. The Royal Navy of the United Kingdom has not confirmed this, but they have a strong belief that the wreckage is that of the HMS Thistle.